Hey there, and welcome to part 2 of creating a Shoe Mania character in Blender. Continuing where we left off last, the mesh of the model is ready, and now we need to work on the materials. First, I'm going to talk a few things about how the texture is going to work. So first, what we're going to do actually is we're going to apply the textures that came with the model. If your model did not come with textures, then you're probably going to be out of luck on this one. I can't cover that all that in this tutorial, but um, uh, maybe in another tutorial some other time. So I'm going to then apply, I'm going to open up one of these textures here that I have. This one is the body texture. And so to apply this, I'm going to right click, open up edit mode. And I'm going to actually click this little thing here so that I, whenever I select here, we'll also select in the uh, 3D view. Select all and then apply that texture. Okay, now I'm going to do the arms, select all, open. I'm going to find the arms texture of mine, which is hands. Open that up, and you can see it's applied there. Okay, we're going good so far. Eyes and mouth. This one is the mouth texture. And you can see the, right now the uh, eye does not match up, but we'll fix that in a moment when we uh, work on the UVs. And, okay, we got the gun. Well, already, actually, in this case, the gun came from the uh, Storman, of course, so I actually still have the body D texture from that here in from uh, the previous tutorial. Though, if you needed to, you could always just go and find that, open it again. Okay, now go to the head and open that up, and that is the face. There we go. Okay, now to see this, we're going to go and click on texture mode. Now you can see all the uh, textures been applied to the model, and that is what it looks like with each individual part. Now, for Shoot Mania, you need to have a material for each model. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, in my case, I'm going to have all these textures in one single texture in the game. The game can only handle about two or, th I, I believe, two or three textures. If you go more than that, then it will, the model won't work. It'll just kind of, I think, I believe it just crashes the game. It'll just close on you. So what I'm going to do here is actually add all these character, all these parts together. And now I'm going to apply material. So go over to the materials tab here. And now we're going to make a new texture. And we're going to call this, I'm going to move this over a little bit. We're going to call this underscore T-D-S-N-E-M underscore um, E-L-2-2 Salvador. So to explain this, this portion here, the underscore T-D-S-N-E-M, that is the type and underscore B-L-2 Salvador is going to be, or just B-L-2 Salvador is going to be the name of the texture. So there's a few different cases of types that you could have in um, Shoot Mania for characters. There are different ones for objects and other things like that as well. But um, so in this case, TDSNEM is um, D for diffuse, which is color, S for specular, which is the shininess, N for normal, which is the uh, to add bumps and stuff to the model to make it more detailed. E is the energy, which is just color or well, um, lights pretty much. And M is the mask, which decides um, which parts are affected by um, the team. So when your ca character is on red team, then it'll be red or blue on blue team, and so on. And there are other few cases. You can have TE. Um, you can have TDOSN, which is um, allows you O allows you to have um, op opacity, so you can have transparent parts. And um, you decide that that will be decided by the alpha channel on the specularity and the diffuse, I believe. And then there's also TDOS, which is just excluding the normal app. So in this case, I'm using the full, like, the, that's just, the, this is the normal one. You'll probably use this for almost every single character. You can have um, multiple parts. So I could have, say, one part that is the head as well, and I could add a, another texture and I could call this one um, I could have this as a TDOS TDOS instead if I wanted to have the hair with um, if the, for whatever reason the hair had um, some alpha channel to it then I could have that and I could call it BL2 
head or something like that, and just just as an option. I'm gonna leave that actually right now. I'm gonna undo that, add those back together, because in this case I would just want one. Now these parts, I'm not gonna go over how to add all the textures together and set it up, because that is very specific to each one. I'm gonna have another tutorial, which is the next one, which um, I'll have a link on screen right now to that, which will just go over how to do that in GIMP. I don't have Photoshop, so that's not, it's it's very similar though, so it'll go over that. And, and um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import that texture, and then we'll go from there. So here we are, I finished the texture here. Um, it has all of the parts connected, and um, in this case, the eyes I've added onto the head texture to save space. And so this texture is called BL2 Salvador underscore D, which is for the diffuse. You'll have underscore N, underscore S for all the other textures. And it's in a TGA format, which is the best option here, because then, blend, then uh, not Blender, Shoot Mania will convert it into a DDS format, which is the correct format. You can also just output it directly to DDS, but in my case, I'm just going to use TGA, because they're much easier to deal with in Blender specifically. So now what I need to do is apply, is move the UV, UVs around uh, on um, the character, because now I've opened this. These are all in a big mess. So what I'm going to do is then move all these so that they fit to um, this texture. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, oops, select the head, and I'm going to press Control I to invert selection and H to hide, and I'm going to select all. And now you can see I just have the head portion which I want. Now I can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have 2D cursor on as the mode, so when I scale, it'll go towards this cursor. If it's not in the corner, like it's over here for whatever reason, what you can do is scroll right in on the corner, click closest to the corner as you can, and then press um, Shift S and cursor to pixels, and I'll put it directly in the corner, so you know you're scaling right off the corner. And I'm going to scale and press Divide by two. That scaled it right to half the size, so now you can move it up, hold Control and just pop it right up there. Okay, now I'm going to um, uh, have no selection, press A again to undo that, and Alt H. Now I'll press Control I to hide that portion. Now what we got here is, I'll do the body next. Press Control I again, H. Now select all, scale again, divide by two, and that one fits straight in where it wants to go, where it should go. And uh, unselect, unhide. Now we've already done the head and the body, so I can actually hide both of those. Alternatively, you could um, make the texture and then put these place, put each part in place first, and then add them together. That's probably the better way to do this, but I'm doing it this way. You press Tab to go back out of mode, and you can see exactly what it's doing. And now what we got left here, we got the eyes and mouth. So, what I'll do, select all this, like that, 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 select everything but the eyes and mouth. There we go. Control I, you can see I just have that. Actually, I want to hide this first. There we go. Oh, and these things. Okay. So these now. So this doesn't all this doesn't all fit in the right spot. So I'm gonna scale divide by two first. Actually, scale divide by four because these this texture was smaller. Move it up and the teeth fit because that part was not moved around. But um, the tongue does not, and the eye does not. So what I'm gonna do first is rotate this portion, rotate the tongue around 180 degrees, and then I'm gonna flip it just the way I did in the texture, and I'm going to move it up and put it approximately in the place. You can see it pretty much fits, there will be a little a few pixels around the outside, so it'll fit in just like that, and it's, it's really just approximate. And the eye, so the eye for this, I'm using this little guy right here, and put it up like that. Now I noticed if I unhide this, some wireframe mode for some reason. So go back to texture. 
Now, the eyes don't really fit quite right. Make sure they're all... There we go. Make sure if it doesn't show up properly, then just make sure that every single thing is on the right texture. And the eyes I want pretty much pointing straight forward. So now if I put it on the middle, it's not going to really work the way I want it to. So I'm going to put it a little bit farther to the side, kind of like that. That's pretty good, just like that. And now all the parts are attached together. Oh shoot, I forgot the gun. Almost all the parts are attached together. Make sure I select this properly. Or actually here, what I'll do is I'll select the arm, hide that, now press Z to go to wireframe and I can select all the gun. And you can see in this case it's scaled in a weird direction because the uh, body detexture is um is um wider. It's two it's two times wider. So in this case, what I want to do is scale x, no scale scale y, divide by two, like that. And now move whoops, move it up. Why am I pressing h? There we go. And it doesn't match perfectly because I moved it around a little bit. So now just kind of go in here, just an approximate place, something like that. Now if I go back into textured mode, you can see it's all in the right place. And now you can tell all the UVs are mapped right for this model. Now quickly then here before we finish, if you want, what you can do is, um, to this material, you can actually add the textures in. So if I go to the, either the quickest way is just go click face textures, and then when you uh, render it out, or go to rendered viewport, then it'll show it like that. If um, you need, you can turn on ambient occlusion just to see it without any lights in the scene, otherwise it just goes black. And um, otherwise, if you want, you can take that off, and you can actually, see it'll just show that otherwise. And you can click add new texture, image, and choose that one, and that'll show up just like that. Oh, it's kind of slow there. The viewport. And then, so that is the diffuse, which is called D. And add a new one, open, and I can actually add the end texture that I've made. And call that N. And now, what we want to do first is make this a normal map in image sampling, and then turn off color for diffuse and turn on normal. Now this won't show up any different because I don't have any lights in the scene, but I should show that in a moment. If I press new, make that S, open, texture, S. And now if I go back here, add a lamp point, let's say. Let's just move it over like that. Um, Brighten it up a whole bunch and go back to rendered view. And you can see there's these lines here, which are the normal map lines. So as so those as that's where um the light will reflect off in a different way than it normally would to show off um, extra detail that the geometry that looks like this would not show otherwise. So that's all for this episode. Um, next up will be part three, which will be on rigging. If you want, um, you can go back and see that GIMP and a um, texture setup video, which I will put right here again on the screen if you want, or a link in the description. And um, so next we will work on the rigging of the character for the animations in the game. If this video is useful to you, go ahead and leave a like and uh, subscribe to see new videos when I post them up. Thanks for watching.